Good afternoon. This is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address one. I apologize. Let's start that over here. The address is 19740 Northeast Everett Lane here in Portland. We're located at the front of the home. We are just to the right of the doorway. We have a four inch cast iron clean out as our point of access. We're going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We do have water currently running and we'll zero out the foot counter here at the base of the clean out. And off we go. The line transitions here to six inch concrete pipe. We'll see how this flow line looks when we come out. You're starting to get some exposed aggregate, but we'll see if anything looks too beat up at this point. All those stringy things at the top of the pipe there, those are just cobwebs, those are not roots. And the line transitions here over to 3034 PVC pipe. Now we're into ABS, or HDPE, one of the two. A little bit of standing water here which we'll take a look at when we come out at the end. It's a fair distance from the home and there's no buildup in that area. Now we're transitioning back to 3034. Now when it comes to bellies, where I, I don't even start considering repairs on plastic pipe with bellies until there's at least an inch of standing water for five to 10 feet, but I've got to see buildup on top of that before I'm recommending repairs on it. Uh, especially bellies that get far away from the house. If you're blocking up at 70 feet and backing all the way up, it's more than likely because of what you put down the line, not because of the belly. Um, you start getting head pressure building up for 70 feet of pipe. The amount of water weight pushing on that blockage is extreme and generally will push it through. That's assuming your blockage is not made out of paper towels and things that should not be going down the line. All right, located the camera head successfully here at 83 feet. We are at the uh, main lateral connection on Northeast Everett Lane. We're gonna start pulling back here. The line should be fully drained at this point. your belly here and this is out in the roadway and in this in uh Multnomah County from curb to curb is city responsibility so that that's outside of the homeowner's responsibility either way the belly is minor it's not one I'd recommend repairs on and the city certainly will not do a repair on that not in a million years it's only about four or five feet long and it's holding somewhere between a quarter and a half inch of water uh, like I was saying before that's one of those bellies if you're blocking and backing up from that thing it's it's about 100% because of what went down the line. It's just the distance it is and the, and the minorness of that belly. It's not one that concerns me. And there's there's not a scrap of buildup in the area. And then this tie in here at the top of the pipe, that is a, a secondary clean out. You'll see that in the sidewalk, a big steel plate sitting over the top of it. You do have somewhat of an offset joint here. It's hitting about halfway up my camera lens. It's about half of an inch. Um, the joint, however, does not show any signs of being open to the ground. You have a rubber fern co that's sealing that joint off. Do I wish it looked nicer than that? Yes, but it does not appear to be affecting functionality. Otherwise, we'd have buildup in the area and or if the joint were bad, we'd have dirt coming through the, the joint there. In my opinion, it's not significant enough to require repairs.
And that right there just appears to be a little, as far as I can tell, just a ball of human hair that's just stuck in there. It doesn't appear to be penetrating through the pipe. Although what I'm going to do here, my camera lens got gunked up a little bit. I'm going to clean the camera lens up a little bit and push it back into the line to get a little better view. You start to get some aggregate rock exposed into the concrete, so I want to get a close view to make sure none of it is cracking or opening up. Uh, based on the cleanliness of it, it appears to still be conveying sewage. Uh, when it comes to older pipe products like cast iron and concrete that are rougher, you know, versus something like plastic pipe or new versions of what we're looking at, you want to make sure you're not putting things like paper towels, tampons, flushable wipes are bad too. All those items tend to snag up in lines and especially rougher lines. And then they don't break down like toilet paper does. So you want to make sure you're keeping them out of your line. Cast iron here is in good shape still. I've got a couple of these little things floating throughout the line. As best I can tell here, they just appear to be little balls of human hair. They're not indicative of how roots penetrate a line. They usually punch straight through and they're quite obvious. You've got somewhat of a separation here at six feet. And then right here at about just past that point, this outside turn here appears to be wearing through. I can't tell if it's completely perforated, but it does appear to be wearing out. And those outside turns in concrete and or, I mean, cast iron does the same thing. They wear the fastest. It's like the outside turn of a, uh, a stream or a creek will get worn out the fastest it's where the water is moving at its highest velocity and just it has more oomph. It tends to wear that out faster. That stringy item there is just a cobweb, that's not a root. You've got joints here that appear to be letting dirt come to the line. You've got dirt squeezing through there and a fair amount of them just i mean the, the concrete here is still functioning in the regard of conveying sewage condition wise it's becoming very very rough you've got a multiple joints here that look like they're allowing dirt to come through them and that outside turn i, I will come back and take a second look it doesn't appear to have it, well, it's possibly not perforated yet but it looks like it's getting there i'm gonna just do some locates real quick who came out and he All right, put a couple paint markings down, one right at the transition joint uh, to the, the, the newer pipe there, which is right in the sidewalk, right before the clean out access, the secondary one. You're about three foot 10 inches there. I just put another one down here in the yard. Now I am recommending an update to the concrete. We've just gone past now three joints there that they're technically compromised. You've got dirt coming through and they're not affecting functionality at this point in time. They can over time, but just the, the rough condition of the concrete. I would recommend it be updated. You've got this spot here that I don't see any obvious dirt clods coming through it, but you can see that there's a hole that's forming there. 
how long it will take before that fully perforates is hard to say. So if, if repairs are not done now, I would be planning to do a update on this line in the next probably few years. I wouldn't wait longer than three years. I think you're gonna, the, the concrete's probably gonna wear out, especially that outside turn. The rest of it may go, may go a little bit longer than that. Um, but anyhow, and you're starting to get some pretty rough aggregate exposed here, but I don't see any major buildup in it. So if repairs are not done, just make sure you're putting, fold the toilet paper down the line, don't ball it up. Don't use paper towels and flushable wipes and stuff like that. Those items will likely snag up in the line. Uh, but just based on the cleanliness of the concrete pipe here, it does appear to still be conveying sewage and functioning. But I would recommend it be updated so the line remains that way over time. And if you decide to do any repairs, make sure a rescope is done to check the work. But that whole repair there ranges from around two to three foot, 10 inches deep. Most, almost the entirety of it is under grass and dirt for the exception of about the last two or three feet of that section of the line. <coughs> Everything beyond that point, all the plastic updated pipe is all in good condition, has good flow, and that stuff is functioning properly. 